Now, uh, olive oil or any refined oil bad for you, like Dr. Uh, what's his name says. He, uh, I don't like to give too many names out here. He, he, uh, he said refined oil will cause heart disease. Oh, well, if that was the case, everybody would have heart disease. I don't know whether he's alluding to cholesterol placking in the artery walls from acidosis and that somehow magically your consumption of oils would contribute to that. I can only say that oils are the most toxic part of plants. And so the high A's and beta carotenes, the high oil soybeans were frowned on by the FDA, which I do concur with that. Uh, essential oils can be very toxic if you get their potent, so you need very little. With that said, the body requires fatty acids, and fatty acids comes in most fruits and vegetables, higher in avocados, higher in, in nuts, and of, of course your, your coconuts higher, uh, pine nuts, pignolia nuts, but a little olive oil on the salad, a little uh, coconut oil, all these are, are not going to do you harm. But I concur with him in the sense of refining and pasteurizing isn't what we do. And of course, most oils are some of the best ones you think about is cold pressed, of course. But then you have the story of rancidity. So I don't know. See, I'm not too much on uh, bottled foods. I think really everything should be fresh, and then you get it as nature intended it and as the chemistry was intended, and therefore these questions wouldn't be asked. But we just got to use things outside of that realm. So as long as you're using amber bottles and a cold press, maybe the, the first or second press, okay. Uh, but just a little bit, you don't need much. A little dab will do you. <laughs> I'll be real careful about too much oils because oils can be toxic. So, because you got what's called ketosis with too many oils, and that's the same thing as acidosis. So you want to be real, real careful with that. Eight tablespoons of coconut oils is ridiculous to me. Totally ridiculous. Um, I, I would take a lot, lot, lot less. What are you trying to do with them anyway? You can't regenerate with that. This is, this is the, the, the fatty acids, of course. It's 88% fatty acids of coconut. So it's a high fatty acid thing. Fatty acids are anti-inflammatory. So when you have inflammation stuff, yeah, you can feel your symptoms better. But you're going for the goal. You're going to get these out of your body and regenerate the nervous system. So you don't want to use them so much as anti-inflammatories and go too high on the oils. Uh, I would think a, a, a couple of tablespoons would be plenty through the day. Be real careful with those things. And you'll stress your liver and gallbladder. So you got to be careful with it. When you're talking about oils, I really feel that this is a process that may, is an unnatural process to get the oils. I just don't believe that extracting oils from anything is beneficial. I mean, if you really ask me and got me right down to it, now I use evening primrose for MS and things like this. I do use the fatty acids, but you know what, not heavily, because everything has fatty acids in them.